Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's modern, diverse and action-packed capital city. It's a mix of incredible cultures with a fantastic food scene, nature intertwined amongst its urban centres and enough attractions to keep you entertained for weeks. Watch our video to discover the top places to visit in Kuala Lumpur. From its huge shopping malls, towers and parks, to the beautiful temples and natural attractions. We were amazed at the number of tropical parks and gardens in the city. If you're here to find inspiration of what to do during an upcoming visit, or simply want to reminisce about your time in KL, we hope you find our video useful. Join us as we rack up the step count and explore everything Kuala Lumpur has to offer. We're starting off our video with Kuala Lumpur's top attraction, the Petronas Twin Towers. Ranked as the tallest Twin Towers in the world and amongst the tallest buildings in the world, these impressive buildings dominate the KL skyline. They boast 88 floors and reach a staggering 451.9 metres tall. You can visit the Petronas Twin Towers by booking a time slot online. Tours run throughout the day, taking you on a sky-high adventure to see the city from above. You'll get to see the sky bridge, which connects the two towers on the 41st floor. Then you'll hop in an elevator to reach the summit of the towers. This is where you'll find stunning panoramic views of KL. We recommend booking tickets for the towers on the official website at least a couple of days in advance. KLCC Park is a neatly manicured park area at the base of the Petronas Twin Towers. As one of the most popular green areas in the city, it's a relaxing place to wander around for an hour or two. You'll find locals jogging, kids playing in the swimming pool area and workers taking a break on a park bench. KLCC Park has several walking trails, an athletics track, lake area, fountains and a series of beautifully designed flower gardens. We recommend checking out the park in the morning before visiting the towers. In our opinion, Kale Bird Park is one of the most underrated Kuala Lumpur attractions. We didn't realise when we visited, but it's one of the largest bird parks in the world. Full of different species of birds and a park that's split up into different themes, it's a fun place to explore for a couple of hours. Tropical plants, lakes, bridges and walkways set the scene for one of the most unique aviaries you'll ever visit. When we went to the park, we saw hornbills, buffy fish owls, toucans, parrots, canaries and even an ostrich. In total, there are over 200 species of birds in the park. They appear to be well looked after and the grounds of the park are beautiful. We recommend having lunch in the on-site restaurant here. Its treehouse setting sits right in the jungle canopy, so you'll often be accompanied by tropical birds as you eat. Don't worry though, they won't steal your food. The next place in our video is the most well-known attraction in Kuala Lumpur. Batu Caves is a vast cave complex that has naturally been carved out of the limestone rock face. The caverns are deep with multiple sections to explore. It's also an active place of Hindu worship. The entrance of the caves has a towering 50 meters tall statue of important Hindu figure, Lord Hanuman. The first thing you'll see at Batu Caves is its steep, vibrant staircase. The 272 colorful steps take you up to the entrance of the cave complex, providing some unique scenery along the way and plenty of monkeys. Chinatown is one of the oldest areas of Kuala Lumpur. Rich in Chinese and Malaysian culture and with colourful lanterns and artwork lighting up the streets, it's a great place to visit for sightseeing and delicious food. 
One area of Chinatown we love is Kwai Chai Hong. It's a small back street with a wooden bridge and bamboo plants at the entrance. The walls of the street are decorated in beautiful murals that depict characters and stories from Chinatown's past. Another top reason to visit Chinatown is for the food. The restaurants and street food stores here are excellent. Whilst in Chinatown, stop by this colourful Hindu temple. It's adorned in statues, carvings and mementos of the Hindu religion. Another place to see in the Chinatown area is Central Market. The market is a bustling collection of stores, independent shops and eateries with an indoor section that's made up of two floors. You'll find everything from fashion wear and accessories to handmade gifts, souvenirs and homeware. There's also an outdoor section, which is a great place to grab a drink or a snack. If you come across a soft baked cookie stall, do yourself a favor and buy one. They're amazing. Petaling Street is the main market street in Chinatown. From sunrise until sunset, it's a bustling, noisy street of tourists, locals and traders selling their goods. If you like Southeast Asian markets, you'll love the atmosphere at Petaling Street. The area is decorated with lanterns, dragons and colourful posts, perfectly matching the rest of the neighbourhood. Tianho Temple is one of Kuala Lumpur's most beautiful temple complexes. It's a Chinese temple dedicated to the sea goddess Mazu, and it was constructed in 1987. It's on a larger, grander scale than other Chinese temples in the city, and is a great place to explore for an hour or so. Grand red columns, ornate carvings, statues, and elaborate roof designs give Tianho its distinctive appearance. During our visit, we enjoyed walking along the temple walls and exploring the hidden courtyards and gardens. Every major city has a green space nestled among the hustle and bustle. Padana Botanical Gardens is Kuala Lumpur's answer. It's a free to visit colonial era park that stretches over 226 acres. Walking trails, flower exhibits, a nice lake and many individual garden areas make up the serene nature park. It's the perfect place to go for a long walk and some exercise. We recommend visiting the botanical gardens in the morning when the weather is cooler. Take time to explore each corner of the park and don't forget the orchid garden. If you like our video so far, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video. The National Mosque of Malaysia is one of Malaysia's most beautiful religious buildings. For big events, the mosque holds up to 15,000 people. It's an active place of worship, but tourists can visit throughout the day at set times. The mosque is a grand, white stone building, featuring a tall minaret at its centre, a beautiful garden area and a water fountain. Inside, it has white marble tiles from ceiling to roof, tall pillars, ornate decorations and large open hallways. Bukit Bintang is Kuala Lumpur's busy city centre district. It's full of shopping malls, high-rise office buildings, luxury tower hotels and bars and restaurants. It's no doubt the most modern and futuristic looking area of not only Kuala Lumpur but the entire country. 
explore the modern Bukit Bintang area on foot and feel like a small ant in a big city. Giant billboards, neon lights and towering buildings set the scene for one of the most fun areas to visit in KL. If you're looking for KL's famous street food scene, head to the street known as Jalana Law. Located in the Bukit Bintang neighborhood, this bustling collection of restaurants and street stalls gives you an endless selection of places to eat. Choose from Malaysian classic dishes, seafood, Thai, Mongolian barbecue, Vietnamese and many more. Enjoy a beer, order a few dishes to share and enjoy people watching as you dine on the side of the street. We've already mentioned the tallest tower in Kuala Lumpur, the Petronas Towers. KL Tower is the second place to visit to get an impressive view of Kuala Lumpur skyline and its many tall buildings. It's a 421 meter tall communications tower in the Bukit Bintang area and little do many people know, it's taller than the Petronas Towers by elevation as it sits on top of a hill. An elevator takes you up to the viewing deck where you have 360 degree unobstructed views of the city. There are several viewpoints, photo opportunities, and a cafe at the top of the tower. Shopping is a very popular activity in Southeast Asia's huge cities and KL is no different. They're great places to grab the latest fashion and tech, but they're also good spots for dining, entertainment, and even theme parks. KL does shopping malls just as well as Seoul, Singapore, or Bangkok. Top shopping malls we recommend visiting include Pavilion Mall, Bajaya Times Square, which has a huge indoor theme park, and Surya KLCC, which is located at the base of the Petronas Twin Towers. Bajaya Times Square is full of fun attractions such as bowling, roller skating, bumper cars and a full-size roller coaster with a loop. It's a fun place to visit no matter the time of day, even if you don't go on the rides. We mentioned KLCC Lake at the start of our video and here it is again. Visit the lake when the sun goes down and you'll be treated to the Symphony Lake Water Show. Colourful water jets seemingly dance to the music and the area comes alive with bright lights and entertainment. Be sure to check the evening show times before visiting. Medeka Square is a historic square in the centre of Kuala Lumpur. It was the site where the Malaysian flag was raised for the first time and has hosted independence parades and events throughout the year. At the centre of the square, you'll find the Sultan Abdul Samad building. The building has a grand colonial facade with a clock tower, shiny copper domes and a flagpole that's one of the tallest in the world. The entire area is full of historic sites and museums. Right next to Medeka Square, you have one of our favourite Kuala Lumpur attractions, the River of Life. This recently renovated area of the city has a long riverside path to walk along. It has several nice viewpoints along the river, plus some cool street art. One of the key sites on the River of Life 
is the Sultan Abdul Sama Jamek Mosque. Designed by British architect Arthur Benison Hubak and built in 1909, it's one of the oldest mosques in Kuala Lumpur. Admire it from afar and explore the mosque's grounds. The last recommendation in our video is KL's main Indian district. Rich in culture and full of Indian shops, restaurants, cafes and markets, it's one of the most colourful neighbourhoods in the city. The smells, sounds and colours will make you feel like you've been transported to the heart of Mumbai. We recommend visiting for lunch. Try authentic Indian food in a cafe and sip on a speciality mangalasi. For our recent visit to KL, we stayed in the Kuala Lumpur Journal Hotel and we can't recommend it enough. It has an affordable price tag, it's right in the heart of Bukit Bintang and the buffet breakfast was one of the best we've had in Malaysia. It also has a rooftop infinity pool. Check out our link in the description box for more information. That wraps up our video on the best places to visit in Kuala Lumpur. If you have any questions about any of the attractions we've listed and have some recommendations of your own, be sure to post a comment. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and check out our other Malaysia travel videos. Thanks for watching.